we can start with the pulse. Uh, I'm using it for the acute pathologies. Uh, on here with the pulse, uh, it depends on the frequency that I'm, I'm choosing. I can work in deep uh, or superficial uh, uh, layer uh, depth. And uh, with the pulse, I will manage the pain. Uh, so, I mean, really acute, I want to saturate, to have a desensibilization uh, of the pain. I will, I will put the pulse, only the pulse. I don't have any uh, warm effect. It's only the, the, the saturation of the nociceptors uh, just to break down the pain. After that, I want to increase, uh, to, to stimulate the, the, uh, the microcirculation uh, because I want to activate a little bit the vascularization. Uh, so in that case, I will um, uh, use the uh, loop. Now it's a swap. We just changed uh, a few days ago the, the version because loop was not maybe too compre uh, understandable. So, uh, that's why we decided to change for swap. So swap means we're using the TKR, then we are using the pulse, and then we are using the TKR. So it's really an alt we are alternating uh, TKR, then pulse, then TKR, then pulse. Uh, so this is why we have a fine management because we can decide to, to put a little bit warm, but when it's getting too hot, uh, because I mean, really acute pathology, I'm switching to pulse. So with the pulse, I told you, it's only the, uh, the pain management, no hit. Uh, so hit, no hit, hit, no hit. But when there is no hit, it's the pain management, which is uh, bombarding. Um, so this is for the acute. Uh, after that, you have all the uh, subacute pathologies where you, we will use the TKR. That uh, for this, you already know uh, with the, it's similar to the WinVac. Uh, so um, it depends where you put your return plate. If you put the return plate on the same side uh, of your electrode, uh, you will be in local treatment. So we can compare it to uh, to the CET, to the capacitive uh, effect. We can compare it also to the mix, uh, to the multipolar effects, because we are with the uh, localized heat, uh, superficial, um, with the same intensity, but just by changing uh, the, the, the position of your return plate. You put the return plate in front of your electrode. In that case, you will be deeper. So in that case, uh, it's still the, the, the same action, but it's a deep action. Uh, we are close to the resistive effect in that case. Uh, I can uh, treat more easily uh, the ligaments, the tendon, uh, the, in, the interactions close to the bone. Um, and after that, if I need to, 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 uh, to stimulate with a big hit, uh, because I want to, to drain, I want to work in deep contractures uh, with the, for the stiff muscles. Uh, if you want to activate the deep vascularization, in that case, we will select the mix. So the mix is uh, at the same time, I'm using the high frequency on the low frequency. Uh, so I have the TECA plus the pulse at the same time. Uh, so with this, because I have the uh, contraction, uh, the muscle contraction, which is initiated by the pulse, uh, I'm increasing the resistance. So uh, that's why I have a bigger hit. Uh, and uh, this is the mode that I will choose when I want to drain. Uh, on the last one, the shock uh, is only for the hyperthermia. So the shock, uh, is the maximum uh, of uh, intensity with the maximum of intensity of pulse. Uh, so right here with the shock, yes, in that case, we can compare it to the uh, shock wave. Um, but the difference between the shock wave and the R shock, the shock with the R shock is uh, that 
Shockwave is more there to destroy the tissue and then we're waiting for a healing process. Right here, the shock uh, with the R shock is there to stimulate the collagen and to use the biological effects uh, and we're forcing the healing process. So that's where we are uh, in a different action, same effect, but different action. Uh, right here with the shock mode, uh, we have a healing process where the, um, the, the shock wave is more there to destroy and then wait to have the healing process. Uh, another big difference is that with the uh, R shock, we are not uh, uh, creating pain. Uh, it's not painful to use the R shock compared to the shock wave. Um, and, uh, just to, to remind you why we're using the hyperthermia. So hyperthermia for two reasons. The first one is to stimulate uh, the collagen because we're reaching a very high temperature. The body is uh, protecting against this uh, very high uh, temperature and is producing a new collagen. Is, there is a new uh, synthesis of collagen. And uh, the second reason we are using the hyperthermia, very high temperature, is because we're stimulating the, uh, the peripheral, uh, peripheral uh, uh, vascularization. Uh, in this tissue, when you have some scars, the problem is that there is no more uh, big vascularization in this area because the, uh, the tissue uh, is blocking, uh, the, the scar is blocking the, the vascularization. So we only have the peripheral vascularization on right here. We're stimulating this peripheral vascularization to increase and to produce a new network of vascularization. That's why we're speaking about neovascularization. So that's the, the two main action that we are uh, trying to have with this hyperthermia. So as you can see, we are really open because uh, I can work from the acute to the subacute and to the most chronic tissue, which is uh, uh, the, the, the scar. So that's why uh, on, on all this, um, pathologies could be treated with the R shock in five to 10 minutes. Uh, most of the time, pain management, five minutes, the, the loop, the localized soft uh, warm effect uh, on the acute pathology, five minutes. Uh, right here, if you want to, to, to work in the superficial healing process or a, a deep action, five to 10 minutes, uh, drainage uh, could be around five minutes on the hyperthermia less than five minutes. So that's why it's really important to explain that it's a new way to treat uh, with the uh, um, radio frequency and not with the tech therapy. It's a new way to treat with this product with the, uh, with the R-Shock.